The automated trade station has been added to the game, and it is the newest way cargo will sell and receive new goods. In order to get to this trade station, we need to locate the cargo shuttle console, which is a blue console always located in Cargo Bay. This lets us fly the cargo shuttle. Cargo shuttle will spawn somewhere randomly in space, and in this situation, it actually spawned right next to two space ruins and right next to the trade station. Well, we need ourselves to get there. You just want to bring the cargo shuttle to cargo so you yourself can actually board it. And you're also going to want to dock this because uh, it's pretty unlikely you have EVA protection as a cargo tech, especially around start. Anyways, we're just going to go dock it. And once you're on the cargo shuttle itself, you can fly it manually with the normal shuttle console at the front of the ship. And just make sure you undock. And if you're used to how cargo used to be, you should be able to just FTL to the trade station, but that is no longer the case. You must actually fly to the trade station to deliver uh, goods to sell and to buy new goods. And depending on RNG, it could spawn a little far away. But in this case, uh, in this offline scenario, this is actually probably one of the most ideal places it could spawn. So once you're here, you just dock, no problem. And I spun it a little bit, but it doesn't really matter that much. And once you're at the trade post, it'll look something like this. There's a new computer at the trade post called the cargo sale computer, and it will let you sell things on the cargo pallets, and it will just tell you the estimated value, and then you can press sell to sell things. So for example, if I just drag this locker over, which you probably don't want to do this in a real round, but if I drag the locker over, it instantly appraises it, and if I click sell, we'll make $638. And you actually get the money in a physical form. There's nothing else really of noteworthiness on the trade post. It is really just here for selling and buying things. Other than that, there's nothing really going on. On the part not inside the trade post, there is solar panels keeping this powered, and there is also a pretty elaborate power setup. This will be powered forever. Uh, there's actually no way to get inside this unless you dismantle a wall. Inside, there's a solar control computer and a power monitor and console as well. There also is technically a little Atmos setup, and it is anchored by default. So unless somebody sabotages it, the trade post is autonomous and does not require any form of maintenance. It also even has its own gravity. Interestingly enough, there is a gyroscope, and I have already seen videos of people turning the trade ship into its own ship and just flying it back to cargo and basically doing everything right then and there. So that is a strategy. I don't think that's intentional, though, so I'm not going to even cover it, really. And uh, I'd probably just avoid doing it, because I don't think you're meant to turn this into a shuttle. So once you get back to the station, you want to take your space, so however much you have, and you just left-click a cargo request computer. And that'll put the money inside instantaneously. As you see, I just put in $10,000, so we have $10,000 more. Only other thing that I really have to cover is just how buying things work, which I did explain it. We'll just buy 10 bomb suit crates and i will now go fly back to the trade post so you can see how that works and once you get back to the trade post you'll see your goods that you bought uh, i did buy 10 and there aren't 10 here obviously uh that i believe this is being fixed if not at least the issue is reported so if you want to order 10 crates of something order 10 individuals rather than doing 10 at once in one order uh i believe that will fix it but just to let you know don't order in bulk for now until that fix is in the change log and just to pr further provide information of how these mechanics work exactly, the cargo pallets on the cargo shuttle actually will let you sell things. So like I would put this wrench here and sell it, the money will appear right at the sale computer. So that means you can actually just take a cargo sale computer from the trading post and just put it on the shuttle to have slightly better control of finances on this sh uh, station itself. That way you don't have to always fly out here to sell. So if you want to save time, you could bring a computer back with you and just sell on these pallets. Buying is strictly limited to the outpost. So that's why people are turning this into a ship, because if you turn it into a ship, you could buy and sell in the same exact place. So uh, I unanchored all of these cargo pallets, and if you try to approve anything, it will say no room to fulfill the order. But if I wrench one back on the trading post and just confirm it, they instantly appear right there, and it'll even say uh, sent... There's even a message that pops up. It's hard to read it, but if I just very quickly approve it, sent to automated trade station, and there you go. So it, you can only buy goods here, but you can sell anywhere as long as you have a selling computer. Yeah, that's really it. Anyone who has played Frontier Station has seen this before. This is I pretty much identical to the way you sell goods in Frontier Station. I know a lot of you have played Frontier Station. If you haven't, either way, this still explains how to operate cargo now. Um... I think utilizing shuttles is a really smart move in general, if you want my opinion. Uh, something that we, something that 14 does a lot better in 13 in general is the shuttles. Uh, they feel really smooth to drive. It actually is a real vehicle moving across space. And I think that adds a lot more drama and potential gameplay. Because now Nukies are going to be driving through space. There's ninjas spawning in space. There's random ruins in space automatically. 
uh, salvages, mining in space. There's more things happening off station, but near station. And I think that's really cool. Anyways, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments.